Nomad Land is a drama starring Francis McDormand and David Strathairn, amongst others. It is based on the book by Jessica Bruder and written for the screen by Chloe Zhao, who also directed the film. This is the story of Fern, played by Francis McDormand, a woman in her 60s who leaves her life behind in the city after her husband dies. Fern then begins to live in a van as she travels around the United States. Along the way, she meets many others who live the nomad life and learns how to live as an outsider in a society driven by consumerism. You are one of those lucky people that can travel anywhere. Yes, ma'am. And they sometimes call you nomads. Unlike most movies we've seen recently, Nomadland is unique in how the story flows. It doesn't quite follow the typical narrative style. There aren't the standard beats you'd find in most stories. Many moments have the camera just follow Frances McDormand as she walks around the great American landscape whose raw beauty is captured spectacularly. Welcome to Badland Spa. Even the people she encounters, some often and some others maybe just once in the film, they aren't necessarily memorable at first glance. But they all invariably leave their unique mark on her. Most of the cast aren't really actors, but are nomads in real life. My husband worked at the USG mine in Empire. I was a substitute teacher. It is a tough time right now. You may want to consider early retirement. Not only does the film honor their experiences and traditions in this way, but it also brings a whole different level of authenticity to the premise and, more importantly, their performances. I cannot talk about the performances without bringing up the two of the force that is Frances McDormand in this film. My dad used to say, what's remembered lives. I maybe spent too much of my life just remembering. Talk about disappearing into the character. The actress makes a compelling case for another Oscar win in the Best Actress category. And she deserves it. She conveys a range of emotions without saying much and she manages to take you, the audience, on this journey with her. Initially, when we meet Fern, we don't know much about her motivations, but by the end of the film, you spend enough time inside her head and her psyche makes a lot more sense. I need work. I like work. I mean, sure, I think everyone has probably dreamt about running away from their problems, and this here brings a whole new reality to it. Having said that, there's nothing romantic or exciting about this life. Chloe Zhao keeps the film firmly grounded in reality without cutting back on any of the difficult challenges one would face on the road. It also presents a different side to North America than we've typically seen in movies. One of the things I love most about this life is that there's no final goodbye. I've met hundreds of people out here and I don't ever say a final goodbye. But I need to emphasize this. There's no glorification of the poor and their unfortunate situations. The film often feels like a documentary. Zhao's execution is equally restrained and free-flowing at the same time. This is clearly not for those looking for an exciting watch. On the contrary, it will test your patience and willingness to take this journey along with the cast and director. You may often feel there is not much going on with Nomadland as you watch it, but by the end, you'll be contemplating your life choices differently. Let's just say, I'll, I'll see you down the road. And I do. I see them again. And I can be certain in my heart. I'll see you again. That's why I'm going with four stars for Nomadland. Granted, this film isn't everyone's cup of tea and is definitely no cakewalk to sit through it. Instead, it's almost painfully meditative. I watched it and came out the other end wanting to escape my life and take off on the road. Sure, not everyone will feel that way, but I'm quite willing to bet that you'll be quite likely to introspect and think about what kind of life you really want to live. Guys, thanks so much for watching this review. For more entertainment news, reviews and interviews, stay tuned to E! Now.